Dear students, today we have our October Revolution. It is really known as Russian Revolution. We have discussed the important portions of the February Revolution, its leaders, its consequences, day by day uh, or day to day changes that happened in Russia during February. After that February Revolution, we studied that it ended in the abdication of the throne by Tsar Nikola II and the development of a provincial government under Alexander Kerensky. And what happened in Russia after February Revolution? Why another revolution in the same year with after some months in the name of October Revolution? That is what we need to discuss today. The three important topics that we are discussing here are October Revolution, then Civil War in Russia after October Revolution and Russia under Stalin. Three topics are there. Vladimir Ilyich Lenin was the leader of October Revolution. And when the February Revolution went on in Russia during February, it was or he was not there. That means Lenin was in exile. He was sent out of Russia in 1897 due to some of his activities against the government. Or while he was criticized the government so seriously or severely, he was exiled by the government to somewhere else. And he came back to Russia in 1917 April. And when the First World War uh, went on during those times, by the beginning itself, uh, Bolsheviks under Lenin had no any such a uh, support towards Rus uh, First World War and they didn't support the entry of Russia into First World War. And three important demands were there for Lenin when he came back to Russia just after February Revolution. And that three demands together known as April Thesis. And that April thesis contained that three demands just like banks of Russia to be nationalized and first world war to be came to an end. And the third one is that land of Russia is to be redistributed among the peasants. Three demands were there. These three demands put forward by Lenin in 1917 April is called April thesis. By the beginning itself, Russian society accepted Lenin's leadership and many of them were really surprised about the April thesis and anyhow uh, during the summer period onwards lots of changes happened in Russian society in the name of lots of large number of unions or trade unions were started and the workers also started to question the owners of the worker uh, industries about the working hours or the condition of uh, workers and also about the wages etc. So, the provincial government under Mensheviks uh, with their leader Alexander Kerensky decided to suppress the increasing influence of Bolsheviks under Lenin in Russian society. During all this time, lots of Soviets or councils spread across Russia in different areas and all Russian council congress of Soviets also becoming more uh, enlarged during those times or also got lots of members from different parts. Anyhow, people, especially peasants and the revolutionary leaders or the revolutionary group were sticking on the idea of redistribution of land. And the peasants were also started to recapture land from different areas, especially from the landowners and they themselves started to redistribute the land for their purpose. By the end of July 1917, situations in Russia were almost becoming so tensed. So Lenin, afraid that as the conflict between the provincial government and uh, Bolsheviks are um, becoming more serious, sometimes the provincial government under Alexander Kerensky may start to implement a kind of dictatorship in Russia. So, before any happening any such a serious in matter in Russia, Lenin planned to capture the power of government and for that purpose, he formed a military revolutionary committee under his friend Leon Trotsky early itself and they decided for a day to capture the power of government that is provincial government from Mensheviks and they kept the date as so serious and so secret too. The important incidents in the series of October Revolution activities started on 24th October 1970. That is, 
when uh, the situations were becoming so tense and is out of the control of our provincial government the prime minister that is alexander kerensky decided to escape from petrograd and he seeked the support of troops or soldiers and the supporters that is the pro uh, provincial government or pro mensheviks decided to capture the important buildings of bolsheviks especially where the newspapers of the were started to print out and they also started to capture different other important power centers of bolsheviks in return under the military revolutionary committee they also started their work against this menshevik or the provincial government just like in the form of capturing the offices that is uh, government offices and officials also were started to capture one by one by the uh, military revolutionary committee under lenin and his friend trotsky and in the coming uh, hours what happened is that even winter palace also was shelled and lots of other important offices in the other banks of river neva was also started to capture one by one by the revolutionary committees and by night of october 24th major important cities were came under the revolutionary committee and lot of ministers surrendered to them so numbers of such revolutionary rebellious activities were going on in different part of cities in the coming one or two month and by december the most important places just like petrograd and moscow came under the full control of bolsheviks this incident is came to be called as october revolution after this october revolution many changes started to implement in russia under the leadership of lenin that is what we can discuss now after this october revolution of 17 1917 the most important changes that happened in or taken place in russia were that one of the most important change or introduction was nationalization of banks and industries that means the ownership of industries and banks came under direct govern direct government no any individual properties were there as bolsheviks were really against pro, in a private property and another important change that happened is that introduced the collective agricultural system where all the different parts of different small plots of farms were pulled together and a kind of con, uh, common agriculture or farming system was introduced and uh, that was another important change that happened there another change that happened was that large buildings were captured by the peasants and the uh, people and it was started to use by the people according to their requirement that is for their family need a huge building will be changed into uh, or made for lot of families together and the land also was distributed among them according to their requirements for economic stability five year plan system was introduced and they planned any important that is especially for giving or a proper employment system or making the total economic development any one of the important major topic or concern will be considered for a five years continuous uh, demand or for five years continuous in attention so that area will be developed into its maximum so the five years plan was introduced in russia just after october revolution and education becomes so common and in order to give a uh, easiness for women to work in factories or in industries crash system also introduced there where they can keep their siblings or their small ones in that crash and they can work nearby so all such is changes that happened then health come uh, health or health situation also introduced in a little bit more better common health centers also introduced there then the headquarters quarters for workers also installed or established in different areas so together a common society or a soviet society where a socialist ideology with almost equal opportunities for all may, uh, was almost ensured just after october revolution under uh, lenin but we can see one another 
thing also that you know uh, as the situations were going on under Mensheviks and uh, Bolsheviks even Bolshevik also were not at all fully supporters of Lenin and his policies so in order to get a control over all the society including his supporters and opponents different administrative changes also were introduced by Lenin especially one of such changes was in the form of appointing secret police known as Chega Later, its name was changed according to situations, but Chega is the name of secret police. Spies also were appointed in order to get details about the criticizing group of people against Lenin and his administrative system. And uh, a parliament was formed. A parliament was formed under Lenin, where he also gave representation for common people there. So, in administrative system or in social life system together, Lenin introduced a lot of changes which was uh, one of the most important facts which, uh, which helped him to get appreciated by the world around. Because it's a social society where a kind of equality for all started to practice in life for first time in Russia. That's why socialism became one of the most important icon of the world during those times. But we know that changes to the all existing society may not be accepted by people of different society or different culture all together at once. That's why here in case of Russia also such a problem happened that in the name of a civil war. That is another important point that we are discussing here. Civil war happened in between the supporters of Bolsheviks and the opponents of Bolsheviks. Or we can say that it was a part, or it was in between Bolshevik in one side and pro Tsarist group or pro Menshevik group in another side where three group of people were there to fight in between that means uh, Bolsheviks in one side and to another group of people together. Bolsheviks were called Reds, then socialist revolutionaries were called Greens and the another group called pro sarist or the supporters of Tsarist group were called Whites. Red in one side and white and green in another side because white and green controlled majority of the Russian areas, the Russian empire during 1918 and 1919 and they also were got support from France, America, Britain, Japan etc. because the social changes that is happening in Russia were really a matter of fear for these countries also. Really, they are afraid about the spreading of the ideas of socialism. So, in order to crush the increasing power of Bolsheviks, that is Reds, Whites and Greens with the outsiders joined together. And the fight between these two groups is called the Civil War in Russia, which caused casualties of uh, a lot. And even though Civil War happened there, it didn't give much, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, much pressure on the Bolsheviks. But People across Russia had different ideas about Bolsheviks because some people in different, extremely in the different nook and corners of Russia declared themselves as uh, Bolsheviks and they have committed whatever atrocities or whatever nuisance possible for them to do in their locality. So people believed that on one side Bolsheviks are supporting common people and in another side in the form of uh, self-declared Bolshevik they are making many kind of problems. So together people believed that some kind of problems are going on anywhere. All these together known as civil war. Anyhow in order to get a support and also to get control over the uh, rising group or the re revolutionary group of people in different nook and corners self-government or autonomy was allowed or uh, announced by Lenin in order to rule that locality by their own without having much disturbances to people. After Lenin's death in 1924 Russia came under the leadership of Stalin. And during the time of uh, Lenin, he named Russia as USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. And that country was came, uh, came into the hands of uh, Lenin, so uh, uh, Stalin, where Stalin is considering as the person who introduced planned economy 
under that uh, five year plans were successfully introduced into russian society where he understood one important major problem that the shortage of food grains due to many uh, factors especially the uh, one important factor behind this shortage of food grain was the uh, fault play playing by the traders and the peasants because they are keeping a share of the food grains in their own hand or in their own godown hoping for a best future to get a maximum price for their grains but the prices for that food grains were already fixed by the government so uh, the disappointed uh, uh, peasants or the traders those who were not willing to sell the product according to the price fixed by the government kept the quantity of that food grains in their control that led to the shortage of food grain so that was one of the important problem that he had to face while he came into uh, power in order to solve the problem of shortage of food grain in 1928 itself stalin uh, appointed some important party members in charge of supervising the important godowns of the well to do farmers called kulaks and to collect all the stocked food grains from that locality to make it available in the public market for the people and as the situation that is the shortage of food grain continued again and again he decided to continue or to introduce the idea of collective farming where all the land was taken care by the government under government management and it was given chance for all the farmers to work in that farm field and the profit was started to share but some of the farmers were not ready to accept that part of share of the profit because some of the farmers were trying or working hard in the farmland some others were idle so while the uh, profit was shared everyone got equal uh, share also so uh, some of the disappointed farmers were not ready to cooperate with the collectivization of farming and they were not willing to keep their animal uh, wealth also with them so again continuous problems were there in russia even after uh, uh, october revolution when stalin introduced new changes into economic development of russia in order to suppress the increasing wrath or the angry of the uh, farmers those who are disappointed farmers uh, stalin introduced some measures that is strict measures in the form of getting all those uh, revolting people under his control and either they were exiled to countries or they were deported to somewhere else anyhow the situation didn't have any much changes that is especially the production of food grains didn't increase in the maximum level that led to russia to face one another drastic uh, plague and also the famine during the time of 1930 30 or 32 etc so another uh, even though many revolutions happened or many steps of revolutions happened in russia lots of problems were again there to solve under great leaders just like lenin or stalin etc during the period of 1930 or 32 etc due to the economic reforms made or introduced by stalin in russia lots of confusions and problems were there, especially in the factory or industrial sector or also as a form of consequences or the problems facing by the collectivization of farming so from him uh, within this his own party itself that is in within communist party itself lots of critics were there against stalin so without having no any other option he started to uh, make them silent by arresting them into large number that means large number is beyond our imagination millions of people were arrested and put in jail due to their critics and many of them know that they are really innocent and but no one came forward to make any kind of arguments in uh, favor of saving the life of the innocent people in the jail many of them were really educated uh, uh, some of them were educated some others were professionals and many people from highest position in society also were under the imprisonment due to the uh, repressive style of administration of stalin in russia uh, during the period of 1930 or almost 1930 to 1939 so in order to conclude this lesson we can say that definitely russian revolution had its impact and influence on the whole world politics 
especially in the form of formation of some different political parties. Socialist parties are there, communist parties are there. These parties also started across to form in different countries of the world. That is one of the impact of Russian revolution globally. But we can understand that uh, some of the ideas put forward by the Re Russian revolution by the beginning in the form of giving maximum support for workers or peasants or nationalization of the important buildings etc. were not fully practicing in the later ages of Russia. That is after 1950 or 1968 etc. Many or total diversification of the October revolution ideology or the Russian revolution ideologies were started to practice. So, the popularity of Russia, that is USSR, started to decline day by day and by late of, uh, uh, end of the 20th, 20th century, the important position that once uh, Russia or USSR earned and enjoyed started to decline day by day or gradually. But anyway, we can say that many of the people, that is especially one of the important changes that happened in Russia after the Russian Revolution was that economical development, that is one of the most important feature of Russian Revolution. That means many of the industries or factories were well developed and extremely modernized. Agricultural system, etc. also had its own development, maximum development. And also gave a little bit chance for the development in the lifestyle of the peasants. But many other type of freedom, that is especially two-party system or three-party system, etc. were uh, reduced. That is, some of the freedom of people to express their ideologies. If they have a different idea, they have no any chance to express it. That is, freedom to express their ideology was lost. And also, uh, the Russian government become a government of one-party system alone. Uni party system is following there, that's why no chance for the other party members even to be a part of their election. So, such a different limitations were there in Russia after Russian revolution. But anyhow, a lot of changes, especially in the form of a kind of equal society was introduced and also practiced in Russia after uh, October revolution. So, really we can say that just like our French Revolution gave some important uh, introductions or some important topics or some uh, inspiring words just like liberty, equality and fraternity was already across the world. The word equality is almost practiced in Russia after Russian Revolution in the form of giving a chance for people to mingle together and also to live together without knowing about their status in society or about the color or any other any other factor of discrimination. So, Russian Revolution also had its own position in world history where we can stay, say one thing that a kind of social equality is still practicing in Russia. So, we have discussed a lot of points about Russian Revolution and its impact on the global level or the impact on its own people etc. So, children, we have completed that chapter Russian Revolution and Russian Revolution is known as October Revolution and its leaders and the other consequences or the other day, day by day incidents also we have discussed here. So, we have completed that chapter. We can come in another uh, video with uh, another lesson. So, thank you. Keep watching. Have a nice day.